far into Canva Tip Weekly and I haven't covered typography and fonts yet. I know. Well, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Who knows? Let's get into it. Today, we're going to be typing about typing. <laughs> we're going to be talking, not typing, about type and uh, typography and fonts, all of that good stuff. Now, I did do a video on text effects. So beats me why I did text effects, but not actual typography. But you know, we're, we're remedying that now. Let's get into it. This video is going to be broken into three parts. So try to um, follow the part. I'm going to be going from easy to complex. This first part, I'm just going to be going over the brand kit, where the fonts are, how to add fonts on here. The second part, I'm going to be talking about the licensing, how to choose fonts, which things are included in Canva. And then the third part, I'm actually going to show you why every font doesn't work in Canva and what happens when you upload a font that doesn't work well. So that's glyphs, right? All right. So part one, let's get into it. First of all, to add type to your artboard or your design, you're just going to hit the letter T. Boop. Letter T. And I don't know what this is pulling from, if it's like the last used thing, but here we are. Don't forget, you could always just use the paintbrush tool to change that. So you can add the letter T to do that. Then your type tool is up here. This is where all the typography is. So this font is Montserrat Classic. It's one of my brand fonts. Uh, over here in Canva, this little section, let's this little section is all of the fonts that are used in this document. This is document fonts. This is everything that is inside of this document. I don't know why it doesn't say that, but it is. Next up, Canva's like, hey, you might like some of these fonts. These, these feel like they're cool. And I trust Canva. Canva, I know you have my best interest at heart. So I, if you're looking for fonts or if you need fonts, check it out. Then we've got our recently used. So you're going to see, um, I've done this video a few times. <laughs> I have to record, record things. You're going to see a couple of uh, things right here. And then you're going to see your brand kit fonts. So these are all the fonts, which I'm going to cover that in just a second, where your brand kit is. Then you're going to see all of your uploaded fonts. I obviously have a trillion billion um, because I'm a designer. So I tend to do lots of different types of design. And then, and then we get into all of the Canva fonts. Where do I go set my fonts? Well, you click on the brand over here in Canva and we come back over here to your brand kit. This is the brand kit. Let's go studio brand kit. Let's go studio brand kit. Um, and then right here in this little space is where you set your text styles. Now text styles are your heading, your subheading and your body copy. Let me come back over here and show you how those are used. So if you click on the text panel, you can actually drag these bad boys over here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Nice. So you can drag them onto the page rather than clicking on them. This is going to give you a heading or you can click heading, subheading, body copy. That's just going to add it centered. Um, so that is how you can use those things. Or obviously you can click here and then come down here to the brand kit and select one of the three fonts that you get in your brand kit. Yes, Canva only gives you three fonts, which I love and hate at the same time. I love it because as non-designers, you really shouldn't be using more than three fonts. But obviously as a designer, I wish I could set just a few more rules. You get a heading a subheading and a body copy. To change this, you'll click on it and then choose the font. You can choose the size and if you want to use the bold or italicized version of that. Notice how mine are grayed out. That's because unless you're using a native Canva, a native means it's already on the platform, you would have to upload a version of everything, right? So I only purchased Vesterbro poster black and not Vesterbro poster thin. Um, so you'll see here under my uploaded fonts, I also purchased Interface Light, Interface Bold, Interface Regular, all independently of one another. So they don't technically play, they don't bold or italicize necessarily. I know that's confusing. It's the whole font thing. So this is where you um, add your text styles. And then this is where you um, upload 
your fonts. If you want to upload any custom fonts, I'm going to be talking about why you want to be careful with that at the end of the video. So I've added a bunch of text. I've added T. I've added my heading, my subheading. Now, Olivia, I don't have fonts. What do I do about fonts? How do I pick my fonts? Well, that's a bigger question than Canva Tip Weekly can tackle. Truly, that is a brand designer. Um, but I'll give you a couple tips anyway. The first thing you're going to want to do is choose between a serif and a sans serif font. These are your two big baddies that you need to choose when it comes to a brand design. So this top one right here, this is a serif, which has the little, it has like little markings on the end of it. And this is a sans sort of sans serif. Um, I use a mix of both on my website. My headers like this are serif and then my subheaders and my body copy itself is sans serif. You do not have to mix. You can have it be all the same. Uh, serifs are going to be things like Playfair display, which we all know and love and everyone used from 2018 to now. I love Playfair display, don't get me wrong. This is a serif, right? Um, a sans serif example would be Barlow, whatever this is. This looks nice. That's a sans serif. So the first thing you'll want to do is kind of decide, do you like the serif, which is a more traditional kind of style, or the sans serif? The second question is, well, which fonts are actually available in Canva? And that is a mystery that I have yet to uncover. So obviously Canva has a bejoodle of fonts, like just so many. There's so many great ones in here. The thing is, fonts are mostly collected as part of font studios. It's kind of rare that somebody just wakes up and says, I want to make a font, and then they make a font. So you've got things like Google Fonts, Adobe Fonts, um, bigger type studios, and I can tell you that Google Fonts, if they're not already on here, are free. So if you like any Google Fonts, you can just type in Google Fonts. How many times can I say Google Fonts? Whoa, where are they? Fonts. All of these are free. A lot of them are on Canva already, but you can kind of come in here and take a little peek and decide if you like something. I'm gonna tell you right now, Adobe's fonts are not on Canva and they will never be because they are Coke and Pepsi. Why would Coke have a Pepsi machine in their break room cafeteria? Canva is a competing platform to, I think Adobe Elements, something like that. So no, they're not gonna have Adobe fonts on here. So if you fall in love with Adobe font or you're like, Olivia, how do I connect with Adobe font? Can't do it, sorry. Now, as far as the rest of the fonts on here, it really depends on the agreements that other font studios have with Canva. For example, you guys can maybe already see it in my tabs. Tan type. Ugh, don't we love tan? Look at all these tan fonts. Tan fonts. There's so many and they've added even more. Whatever. This one's, I think, kind of new. So tan type has a really fun, funky style. I would not use these for anything more than like a headline or like a couple of words, honestly. But why on earth are all of these on Canva. I did not upload these. These are just straight up Canva fonts. The answer is I don't know. So tan type, here they are on Creative Market. Um, they have many, many, many more on Creative Market than they do uh, on Canva. And I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could tell you there's just, they just must have some sort of agreement, Creative Market and tan. So what I would do is First, identify what type of font you want, and then you, you might just have to do some, some, some digging around. But keep in mind, just because you find it on Canva doesn't mean it's going to be available on your website platform. So, uh, for example, um, Gliker. Let's try that. That's not even a serif, though, so that's confusing. But I don't think that... So, I'm going to come over here to... Ha! <laughs> that was an accident. Look at my hair. It's the same in both pictures. Uh, let's go back to the, this is the design panel, site styles, fonts. I'm just going to use miscellaneous for right now. Gliker. No results, right? So just because it's available in Canva doesn't mean you're automatically going to be able to use it on Squarespace. And you might be saying, oh, well, I'll type everything out in Canva and upload it as a graphic to Squarespace. That's very bad for SEO. Don't do that. Just 
pick a couple of really beautiful streamlined fonts and call it a day, I promise. Okay, so that's a little bit on like how that works, why those things are on here, why they're not on here. I would use funky fun fonts on your social media. So for example, the Let's Go brand, I have a more robust style guide that I use. It's a little bit more beyond, uh, which is available in my shop. But I actually have my brand bots broken out like this for my team. Like here's poster, here's interface bold, and then I have a couple of special cases, special case fun fonts. So I've given my team permission like, hey, if you see a fun font that looks like it would work well for my brand, it'll work great as a quote. So for example, this, like, oh, I love to design bold brands, bold and bright brands, brand design that shines. Like this is kind of how to use this. Um, Again, this little, this whole um, thing here is available in my shop if you need help with your own branding. Okay, now, what if you purchase a font somewhere else and you want to upload it? Great, be careful. Let me break all of your hearts right now in this moment. And I'm so sorry, I know, I know. This font is my go-to example. I love this font creator. Her name is Nikki Lotz. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. She's incredible. Glamour Absolute. Do you guys notice the little T swooping over and the, how the A dips down and like this A does all these things? These are called glyphs, alternate glyph characters, and you cannot do them in Canva. I know, I know, Olivia, but why? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Canva does not currently support alternate glyphs. So if you go buy a font and you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make my logo and it's gonna be amazing, I will show you because I own that font and it is right here, Glamour Absolute Regular. So let's go back to Canva Tip Weekly and copy this and paste it here. Glamour Absolute, gotta sing everything. Let's go over here to my uploaded fonts. Glamour Absolute. <laughs> Let's test this thing out. Okay, so there's a couple things that I want to, this actually doesn't look as bad as it has before. I think I'm probably just using the wrong, yeah. No, these actually look pretty good. I'm surprised, usually they don't. Um, so, couple things, that one actually looks good. When I highlight these letters in my design software, they would show me, it would say, hey, you can also change it to one of these things and you can swap out letters and it's like really awesome. Obviously, there's no way to activate that in Canva currently. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I would be surprised because it's kind of an advanced thing. So this is Glamour Absolute. You can't, you gotta just, you gotta stick with it. So be really, really cautious before you purchase a font and got your heart broken. The next thing is some fonts aren't meant for Canva. I'm trying to demonstrate, they have weird kerning, which is the space between letters. So sometimes like you might notice how like, why is the H and the E so far apart, but the L and the I are really close together. That's because this font isn't really meant to be one that's uploaded to Canva and used. And I'm trying to find another example and I swear I had one, but now it's, I don't see anything vowels regular. I don't even know what this is. So not every font you purchase is gonna look good on Canva. Just be really, really cautious. I mean, I think that fonts are actually really um, uh, affordable, to be honest with you. Most fonts, I think a lot of people might think that they're really, really expensive, but uh, let's see, she's got all categories fonts. Nikki Lotz's fonts are like 20 bucks. You know, 80s come, oh, this one's 40 bucks, but honestly, I've used the snot out of this font, like to you guys can't even believe. Um, but some of these, like if you just like Noir at Blanc, like 30 bucks to have like a brand font is such a good, good thing. I'll give some font resources in the show notes. Um, alrighty, so that's everything on fonts. This went a little longer than I thought it would, but hopefully it's giving you a little bit of insight into the how fonts work in Canva. I'm going to give you some reference links um, in the show notes, and then I will see you guys next week. We're